like to joke around with my friends that I don't take pride in a lot of things, but I do take pride in my humility. You know, if anybody has a reason to take pride in their humility, it's Billy Graham. Good morning. Welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, Billy, as many of you know, has passed away, and I just wanted to echo what Dan said uh, the other day, just as we finish out this week, what an incredible man of God Billy Graham was. And out of all the characteristics that I could think of that I am most impressed with of Billy Graham, it's got to be his humility. When you think about the millions and millions of people that he ministered to, and the way he remained so humble. I was watching an interview this week and uh, <clears throat> the, the interviewer asked him a question and his response was, when I get to heaven, the only thing I wanna hear is one voice saying, well done, thou good and faithful servant. And of course, we all wanna hear that. And you know, in my flesh, I think I should hear that, right? But, but listen to what Billy said after he completed that sentence. He said, I don't know if I'm going to. Billy Graham is not sure if the Lord is gonna say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Is that humility or what? That is something we all need to strive for, is to continue to remain humble in our spirit. It's so easy for pride to come in. I've mentioned before, I was raised in a fairly legalistic house and upbringing, and sometimes that can lend itself to pride creeping in, thinking you're better spiritually than someone else, and I have to fight that periodically. So let me read a verse for me and for you today in 1 Peter, the fifth chapter, and I'll close with this. It says, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Billy remained humble before the Lord and he is being exalted by man in due time, and I'm sure in heaven as well. So I wanna encourage you today, live a humble life like Billy, and uh, allow the Lord to continue to use you as never before. Let's pray before we end this morning. Father, thank you once again for allowing us this time. We ask you, Father, to work on each of our lives, God, that we would remove pride and that you would allow a humble spirit and humility to take over our lives, God, that it would have impact on everyone that we meet, everyone that we run in touch with today, God. We thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.